Hey guys, we got another free Apple tutorial for you here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to securely erase a flash drive or jump drive um, so that all the information that is on it is completely erased and no one will be able to access that information even with data recovery software. What we're going to use to do this today is uh, Disk Utility. So you can go up to Spotlight in the top right hand corner of your screen and you can type in Disk and the first hit should be Disk Utility. You're going to want to click on Disk Utility. It's going to open up Disk Utility for us right here. And this is the hard drive we've got on the computer. But what we're going to do is plug in to our USB port our jump drive. What's going to happen here is in just a second the jump drive is actually going to show up and you can see it showed up there on the desktop and then it showed up here in Disk Utility. So what we're going to do to securely erase this is actually click on the root directory of the drive, which is this top part right here. You can see that the drive has a name down here, but this is the root of the drive. We can go over to the Erase tab on the right-hand side of the screen and click on that. It's got a few options on what we want to do, um, but it's also got the security option down here. So if we click on that, it'll actually show you how you can do it. So there's Fastest. Fastest will not actually securely erase anything. All it does is tell the disk that you can write over everything that's on here. As you go up this chart, it gets more secure. The downside of this is as you go up this chart, it takes longer and longer and longer for it to actually erase those files. Single pass is good for just regular stuff. This one right here, this is the most common you'll see people use. It's DOE compliant. Um, it's what a lot of government contractors use to actually erase stuff. And most secure, this would be stuff that absolutely you positively can't get out. This is what the DOD would, would use to actually erase a hard drive. This is what you're going to want to use when you have stuff that you absolutely positively cannot get out into the world, um, whether that be banking or personal information you don't want out there. Most of the time, you're going to be able to use single pass, multi-pass, or again this one, this is seven times, uh, three times in a single pass. For right now I'm just going to show you single pass so that it doesn't take too long to do. Um, what I'm going to do is hit OK and then here I can actually give this a name. I'm going to call it test. And here you can see the erase option we've chose zero out data selected. If you had chosen this one it would say seven pass secure, but we're going to go back to single pass. Once you're all ready to go and you've given it a name and you've selected your security option, you can just hit erase. It's going to give you one last chance to uh, take it back. If you hit the erase button, that's it. It's going to erase everything on here. You won't be able to get the information back. If you want to go back, you just hit cancel. For right now, we're going to hit erase because we're sure we want to erase everything. Just note, only do this to stuff that you are 100% sure you want to erase. So we're going to hit erase and it's going to do its thing right here. It's going to take just a few minutes to get done. The bigger your jump drive, the longer it's going to take. This is a 16 gig jump drive. It's taking about 10 minutes to do this. If it was a bigger hard drive, it would take a lot, lot longer. So we're going to skip ahead to the end now. And that's it. The drive has been securely erased and it is now all ready to go. As you can see, if I open up the drive, it's completely empty. There's nothing on it. And this would make it very, very hard for someone to try to recover data off of this. And if we had chosen a more secure option, it would have been close to impossible to get the data off. Again, if you have any questions about this, go ahead and ask in the comments below. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.